WikiLeaks then made a series of document dumps. Here, too, the special counsel's report did not find that any person associated with the Trump campaign illegally participated in the dissemination of the materials. Finally, the special counsel investigated a number of links or con- The GRU transferred some of the stolen materials to WikiLeaks for publication. WikiLeaks then made a series of document dumps. Here, too, the special counsel's report did not find that any person associated with the Trump campaign illegally participated in the dissemination of the materials. The special counsel did not find any conspiracy to violate U.S. law involving Russian-linked persons and any persons associated with the Trump campaign. So that's the bottom line. After nearly two years of investigation, thousands of subpoenas, hundreds of warrants and witness interviews, the special counsel confirmed that the Russian government sponsored efforts to illegally interfere with the 2016 presidential election. The special counsel found that after the GRU disseminated some of the stolen documents to entities that it controlled, DC Leaks and Guccifer II, The GRU transferred some of the stolen materials to WikiLeaks for publication. WikiLeaks then made a series of document dumps. The special counsel also investigated whether any member or affiliate of the Trump campaign encouraged or otherwise played a role in these dissemination efforts. Under applicable law, publication of these types of material would not be criminal unless the publisher also participated in the underlying hacking conspiracy. Here, too, the special counsel's report did not find that any person associated with the Trump campaign illegally participated in the dissemination of the materials. Finally, the special counsel investigated a number of links or contacts between the Trump campaign officials and individuals connected with the Russian government during the 2016 presidential campaign. After reviewing these contacts, the special counsel did not find any conspiracy to violate U.S. law involving Russian-linked persons and any persons associated with the Trump campaign. So that's the bottom line. After nearly two years of investigation, thousands of subpoenas, hundreds of warrants and witness interviews, the special counsel confirmed that the Russian government sponsored efforts to illegally interfere with the 2016 presidential election, but did not find that the Trump campaign or other Americans colluded in those efforts. 